Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Thursday, September the 3rd. And we're using the Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle all week long by Lucy Cavendish. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Okay, and we have Silver Sisters. And we have the Merlin. First card was card number nine, and this is card number 33. And the last one is Gossamer Princess. Okay, so we have Silver Sisters, two beautiful women, silver hair, silver clothing on. And the card reads, time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. Okay, so maybe some of us out there are not taking the time out, like I've mentioned, where we need to take a break every once in a while because our mind is just in overdrive all the time. And you'd be surprised how a negative thought that pops into your mind could really snowball into something way worse than it should ever be. So be careful of what you're thinking today, this Thursday. What thoughts are going through your mind? Because whatever you're thinking on a regular basis is going to shape your entire life. And these women here, they, they just, they have such energy about them. And taking protection, yes. Protect yourself. Protect yourself from situations, people, things that are just not what they seem. Some people could smile straight at you and you have no idea what they're thinking on the inside. Somebody may say that they care about you, but their actions are totally different than what they want you to believe. So protecting yourself from Toxic people, okay? Everyday struggle. They're everywhere, okay? Think of people in your life, okay, that may be toxic, that you really need to move on from. And then the second card is the Merlin, okay? What a beautiful card it is. Okay, of course, it's Merlin. And it says, guidance, mentorship, teacher of the old ways. Yes. We all have something to learn from each other, okay? This doesn't have to actually be a person with a college degree in teaching, okay, or, or early education or college professor. This could be somebody in your circle of friends. This could be somebody in your family. This could be somebody you work with. You know who you consider to be a mentor in your life. And when I look at this, I think to myself, he's gazing into this crystal ball, okay? He has these fairies floating around, okay? Very serious look on his face, okay? This could be someone older in your life that you look up to. This could be someone younger. But this is someone that has the wisdom that you need in order to be able to move on from whatever situation it is. There's somebody in your life or maybe even somebody that you watch here on YouTube or maybe somebody on your Facebook, okay, that could be of great benefit to you, okay, as a mentor. Someone you could possibly model your, your life after. Not to become a carbon copy of them, but the examples that they are setting and the way they are behaving towards other people is something that is a positive effect on people and you want to be more like that person okay seek out this mentor whoever it is yeah and and don't be don't ever be scared to ask someone for guidance okay that's what we're all here for we're all fighting our own struggles each day okay we can all benefit from the experiences that we've all had by sharing this guidance with one another and then the last card is Gossamer Princess. 
Okay, and in this card, it's a beautiful princess. She kind of looks sad, kind of gazing out at the beautiful butterflies around her. Okay, and it's saying communication, relationship work to be done. Here we go again with the relationship theme. Okay, this could be a relationship with you and another person, or this could be the relationship you have with yourself. Okay, when you don't have self love for yourself, you'll allow people to be verbally, physically, mentally abusive towards you. And I mean, I say this all the time self love is so important. Okay, if you don't care about yourself, how could you expect other people to care about you or treat you right? If you allow them to do things to you and not put your foot down and say enough is enough, they're going to continue. Okay? This here, what I get from spirit is working on your relationship with yourself, the relationship with the self. I'm still thinking it's that. I'm really not thinking that this is an outside person. Okay? It could be. But developing the relationship with yourself that is self-love is going to end up straightening out every situation in your life. Because when you love yourself enough, you know, to stop the things that are going on around you, that are not acceptable, that are negative, that aren't for your highest good, when you finally stand in your power and don't give it away to others, that's when your life is going to change for the better. But as long as you allow yourself to be a doormat and be taken advantage of by people, trust me, your friends do not take advantage of you. Okay, without you letting them take advantage. And you don't have to be mean or nasty. You could say things in a firm, honest, peaceful way. But at least stand in your power. Okay, develop your inner relationship with yourself. And create that self-love that's going to pour out into everything you do. And you'll be so surprised how your life turns around. Stand up for yourself. Yes, work to be done. We're all a work in progress. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.